Hi everybody, it's Suzanne, and we're back in the kitchen today, and I want to show you a few easy things for the holidays. I know we're all pressed for time right now, and everything easy is just what we're looking for. So this first um, dish that I'm making is a butternut squash crostata. And I got the idea from uh, the Food Network, and I've used um, just a refrigerated pie crust, so it doesn't get e any easier than that. And then I roasted um, already chopped up butternut squash with a red onion, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, just until it was tender, and I roasted it at 400 degrees. Made the house smell good, and this just by itself is amazing. So I'm gonna spread a little bit of Alouette cheese on the refrigerated pie crust, and I'm using the garlic and herb. So um, just make sure it's a little soft. I'll leave it out at room temperature for half an hour or so. And I don't want to go all the way to the edges because I'm going to fold the edges in. And this makes a beautiful presentation if you really wanted to go to a lot of trouble and have um, a show-stopping appetizer. You can make these into individual crostatas and just serve them plated to each person. But this is also very nice to just slice it and serve it like this. I'm going to put a layer of butternut squash with the onions and they just caramelized and everything is so beautiful. The colors are amazing. And so one package of this butternut squash would probably make three of these. And then I'm going to put just a little bit more of the cheese on top just in blobs just so it all melts down in there. And then I'm going to fold the edges up and just fold it over and pinch it together so it makes a really nice presentation. It looks like you've spent hours making this when really you have not. So just about every two inches, make a fold and pinch it until you've gotten all the way around. And then you're gonna put this in the oven to bake at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. So next we are going to make a snack mix that will be great when you have friends over for drinks or just for a Christmas afternoon after everybody's finished eating and wants a nibble. Um, and this is a really easy snack mix, mix and it's delicious. So um, you're gonna take about four tablespoons of melted butter. And to that, add about a half of a cup of um, brown sugar, about two teaspoons of curry powder, maybe two and a half. A pinch of gar masala. Hope I said that right. And I just pour a little bit in the lid so not to get too much because who knows how much a pinch really is. A grind or two of black pepper. About a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of salt. And the salt is really to your taste. And then add about three tablespoons of pure maple syrup. Don't use pancake syrup. So I just count, one, two, three. You don't have to be too precise with this. It's gonna be delicious. And then just stir all of that together. And then you're gonna use some mixed nuts. I'm using toasted pecans and I bought pecan halves and I just toasted them in the oven until they started to be fragrant. And then this is just a package of pretzels. And I am also using whole cashews and these are roasted and salted. So if you use unsalted nuts, you might want to adjust your salt a little bit more. I am using already um, shelled pistachios. 
So just a good handful of those. And then I will pour this mixture over the top of all of the nuts and the pretzels. And mix this up. It already smells good and it's not even in the oven. So just coat everything really well. This would also make a really nice gift if you packaged it in cellophane bags and just tied it with a Christmas bow, put a label on it and you could give this away to your neighbors as a really um, thoughtful gift. So I'm gonna pour all of this on a baking sheet. And this goes into the oven at about 350 for around 15 minutes. And you do want to watch it, make sure the nuts aren't browning too much, and give it a stir a couple of times while it's cooking. Okay, now we're going to make a Christmas tree with cheese and fruit. So, um, it's actually really pretty. And I'm taking um, a round of goat cheese, and this goes on the very top and I'm just rolling it in some chopped parsley. So this is like, you could call it a tree topper. So this just goes, I'm using a large cutting board for this. So it goes at the very top and then I'm gonna start with cheese and end with cheese. Um, so not this cheese, but the, the chopped um, blocks of cheese. And I'm using a Swiss cheese, um, a Havarti, and a cheddar and I cut all this cheese up with my very favorite knife and it's a shun knife it's so sharp and it just makes everything go really quickly so I'm going to start with just a few pieces of cheddar and just start to arrange them and you can go back and tweak it a little bit and the fruit that I'm using um, I'm using some strawberries and red grapes and green grapes so I'm going to start with the cheese the cheddar cheese and then do a layer of grapes. You want to adjust your the size of your cheese cubes. So a layer of grapes, and then moving down, um, alternate the colors of cheeses. So start, if you start with the yellow, then do the Swiss or the pepper jack, and just kind of go out in your mind and make a Christmas tree shape. So I am using the Swiss cheese right now. And you can make this as big or as small as you want. Um, this could feed a lot of people if you have a great big board that you could put it on. So then I'm going to go with some red grapes. And just come out a little further each time to make a tree shape. This probably won't stay as pretty after you put it on the table and people start eating it. But at least it'll look pretty when you put it out. And it's fine. So then um, I'll do the Havarti. And just keep moving, getting a little wider each time you go down. So it's kind of a healthy cheese platter. And you can serve this with some toothpicks um, on the side so people can just spear their Grapes and their cheese. And then I'm going to do a layer of strawberries. Um, the green grapes were huge when I went to the grocery store. And so I decided to get some strawberries for color and also the grapes were just so big. So the red grapes were a great size and you might want to think about that when you go to shop because I didn't allow enough time to go to another grocery store and check for different size grapes because who would have thought I needed to do that. So working my way down, uh, one more layer of cheese and I'm going to go back to the cheddar cheese. I think one of the cutest things about this is at the end, I should have started a little higher on my board, but at the end you go back and you take 
sprigs of fresh thyme. And I'm just going to cut a little bit off the bottom so you'll just have the more flexible um, sprigs and just go around the edges so the little sprigs of thyme stick out like the branches of a Christmas tree and it's so cute and very tasty and I think your guests will love this. So I'm going to keep working on this. This is probably not something to take to a potluck because I'm thinking it won't stay put. But if you're just having people over to your home, they'll think it's cute. And there you have your appetizer with cheese and fruit for Christmas. Okay, so I've taken the crostata out of the oven and it's so pretty and it smells really great. And I'm going to finish this off with just a few pomegranate seeds sprinkled over the top and then just a little sprinkle of parsley for some green. You could serve this with arugula. I think the way I would serve it, this would be a perfect portion for dinner for two people with a beautiful salad on the side and a glass of white wine. So really easy, tasty dinner for the holidays. Um, and again, I use the pack packaged pomegranate seeds because they're really easy. So um, I'm gonna plate this up and show you what it looks like. So for my last hors d'oeuvre, this is a log of goat cheese. I put it on a pretty silver tray and a trick with the goat cheese is to freeze it first and then when you cut it out of the package, it stays nice and it doesn't get all mushy and, and look bad. So this is just a store-bought balsamic reduction. I'm going to just swirl it on here, make it look really pretty and then sprinkle some dried cranberries. and a few pistachios over the top and you can serve this with any cracker and it's a very delicious hors d'oeuvre and you see it takes seconds. So there you have it. So I've shared with you four really easy things to make for a Christmas dinner or for a Christmas party and your house is all decorated and everything's beautiful and these are some easy hors d'oeuvres for you to serve. So I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and that you'll stop back by in the new year and see what I'm up to.